subscribe or this will happen to you. <laughs> yeah, you're not subscribed yet? Come on! What's up guys? So, end of the week, we are doing our biggest session of the week, events day. Big heavy log session, front hold. Everything's heavy today. I'm Everything's brutal. heavy, yeah. So, it's a lovely day up in the Highlands. So by the time this video goes out, the gyms in Scotland will be open. So the Stoltman Strength Centre will be back open. <laughs> Yo, we're having a party. Obviously we, we talk a lot what the gyms can do for us for mental health, mental fitness. It's got a community and everything. So in the Stoltman Strength Centre, we want to offer a month free membership to everyone. And if you want to come up and try uh, training in the Stoltman Strength Centre for a day, it's free to use. So it's just something that we can give back to you guys. There's no point in us preaching about how good the gyms are if we're expecting money straight away from you. So obviously it's been a pretty crappy time the last year or so with the COVID and lockdown and everything else like that. So financially, a lot of people probably are struggling um, and we're in a place where we can offer free membership to you guys for the first month. So come and train, enjoy the strength center. We can't guarantee that we'll be here to meet you. Come get some banter and get some disco tunes on and lift some heavy weights and dump in, jump in the cold tub after. Stay spicy. <laughs> so we'll get on with our training session. Logs up first. Let's go. Talk us through your attachments, Tom. This doesn't need talking through, right? I mean, I think as soon as someone sees this, I think they know what, where this goes. <laughs> Dirty minded bandits. This is a finger. Don't know why it's a finger, but my master produced a finger and it's uh, the best finger I've ever had on my body. I can tell you that. It does things to me and makes me healed. What sort of stretches do you do for your log before you do it? With the band around my knee, you can extend it like that. So that helps with my patella pain. Try and stretch my pec out of my lats. It's not much, just kind of holding that and just, just putting the pressure on my pec. That just helps me open up. It just gives me a bit more shoulder mobility. As the bigger, the bigger our shoulders get, the harder it is um, to kind of get into that position comfortably. So it looks like we're not fully locked out. So if we can keep that mobility up, so we're actually going to do a mobility phase um, three times a week for the next seven weeks in the build up to world, so that should help. Right guys, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've got this little spicy t-shirt on. Um, it's from the Mulligans merchandise, Inspire Change. So that's the, the Mulligans kind of motto is to inspire change. And since we've been working with them, I can not thank them enough because they've inspired us to do a lot more stuff, whatever that involves. Um, so, Tommy has They've inspired me big time, look at me now. Hey! <laughs> so Tom, Tom isn't supporting the Mulligans, Excuse as you me. can see. Excuse me, I've got a lot of surprises up my sleeves, you better believe it. So basically I bought this for me and Kushi, so Tom's going to go home and buy like five different t-shirts from the Mulligan's range. That's so what will happen. You know, one for every day don't, of the week. Don't, 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 you need to cut every, one for every day, every colour. Why go small when you can go big? Support the boys, you know. They're an independent company. That's a good sign then, you know, like I nearly knocked myself out, so clean's good. This is only 140, but it's a positive sign that the good things are to come. Almost knocking yourself out doing log press works for Tom, and that's all we need. Thank <laughs> you. 
For two, 190 for two, 190 for two, that's the plan today. F190 and the second set feels good, put up to 200 and see how that goes. We're not in the realms of max weights yet because we're still seven weeks away. Adam Bishop made a good point actually, um, he put a post out that you know the programs are there for a reason, they're there to make you peak for said competition. So if I go and put on 220 today just because it's feeling good, I'm jeopardizing my chances of getting that 230 kilo log at World Strongest Man. Are you going to go for your uh, world record again this year? Yeah, um, so we don't know, there's rumours that there might be a max log at one of the competitions, I don't know if it's Worlds or one of the Giants live shows. So yeah, I'll be going, if there's a max log in a competition I'm going for, yeah, whatever it takes to win and if I can get that 230, that'd be pretty cool, pretty sweet. <laughs> I don't know how I didn't knock that out, it was weird, but it is what it is, and we'll go again. Tommy to get that 195 up. Good effort. Um, so that's our first event done. Bob Press. Tom Beasley did 175, 185, 195. 195. So it was a pretty intense but session. It's one rep out of them all, so I'm happy enough with that. Yeah, really good. I mean, every, every set was a PB for me, clean and press wise. So it's, uh, and then Luke did 190, 190, 200 doubles. So yeah, buddy, it's good doing it because obviously we both did our top set at the at fatigue so you know we have got that in our head that if we were coming in two weeks time to a PV we're gonna kinda scone it so yeah. yeah it's good to be hitting those numbers when we're 
literally fatigued. So. We're progressing every event session, so it's progress, progress, progress. Um, and what Adam Bishop was saying, we need to be rad, ruthless, aggressive, determined, or something like that. That's what we are. We're stealing your bit, Adam Bishop, baby. Breathe. Sorry, let's go. 50. Come uh, on. Uh, <laughs> uh, 55. Jeez. Held that like an idiot. If I was squeezing that, it was on my right. Jeez. Yeah. One, yep. 20. 40. Come on then. Uh, It was 70 and a half kilo dumbbell out in front of us. Um, that's the heaviest we've gone to, so we managed uh, one set at a minute and then just under a minute the next one. So shoulders are dying. It's really, oh, your front delts are just killing. So, But it's good, so we're two events in. Good session so far. Obviously, we've got the Mulligans up. Um, great to have them up. And it gives you a wee boost as well having them up. It's always nice to um, just have positive people around you because then. Positive people, positive results. So let's go up to the warehouse and see what happens there. So guys, we're here at the warehouse. The log and everything's done, so now it's time to get serious. We've got some yoke to do, uh, frame and loading, and some last man standing stone. 160 kg, so let's get on with it. First up, we have yoke there and back, and that's just done. So Luke will probably go first, and I'll go next. 380 kilograms, can't wait. So I've just filled up the back off the yoke. Just obviously when we're running, Tom's quite wide, so I don't want him to clip his feet on the plate, so it should be okay. It's not, might lift up a bit, but it's not going anywhere. So we've got the, the pallet truck. So I'll use the pallet truck, get the sandbags into place, and then get it done. So we're doing loading now. We've got the 100 kilo sandbag, 125 sandbag, whatever that keg is, 120, 130 kilos, and then the 150 kilo sandbag. So we're going to do this, get it done, ace up, and then it's a stone off, which I can't wait for. You're up first in this one? Yes. Excited? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> 
it's time to start the time. Right? <sighs> Not even done the sonar yet, Sam. The loading was good. Um, first time touching one of these bad boys in a while, but doing three sandbags in a keg, I felt fast, I felt good. I had a wee ankle injury kind of the last week, so I've been doing steady, but it's nice to get back on it and get moving. And like I said, uh, you know, the last six weeks we've been doing lots of fitness work, now we're doing strength, so to have like everything going up now is good. And uh, yeah, I feel great, fitness feels good, strength is still there, which is the main thing. And, uh, we're doing it right, you know, we're following the programme to the T and we're not peaking early, so all good. Now it's time to do the last man standing. OAP versus a youngin. We're rich. <laughs> Just a bit of spare cash. <laughs> a toy one. Just too sweaty. My f***ing belly, big fat belly was just dripping. Um, so after the third rep, I just couldn't get any grip on my belly, so I just kept slipping. And uh, I wasn't happy to start. Okay, it's fine, but just not the best. But no, it was a good session today, quite happy with everything. everything felt decent, it's just those stones, something to maybe. Maybe a t-shirt, maybe I have to start wearing, I don't know. Maybe getting too sweaty. I mean, you did good. It's just, when you when your stone slip is quite hard to do, but I mean, I was putting pressure on him, you know, like um, with this kind of stone off, you want to be in control. So like, you know, you want to just, as soon as the ball hits the uh, ground, you automatically bang, push it over. That's why I want motion, because I don't have to reapply tacky twice. Um, you know, a lot of people put it on their knees, that takes like double the tacky off, whereas if you want motion, it you're using the tacky like less time, so it's more, and also it's not giving him time to, I mean, think, you know, like he's walking off and the stone's back. So it might have been because of that as well, you know, if you took his time more, or if I gave him more time, that would have been fine. But yeah, I learned that as well, because I've done it when I got too hairy, shaved off, and because all the pores are open, there's no hair. When you create the stone, like my first two sessions here, it was all slippy. So like hair on your belly, and then really tacking, putting tacky around the spots where your stone is. I've done that every competition, tacky my belly, and you see nobody else do it. And every single time, without fair, at least four or five people kind of slips off their belly. So really kind of put tacky around this section, keep hairy and then it should be good. But yeah, that's my wee tip. So it's the first time they've heard that on camera. Hey guys, that's our event session finiated. We tip from Tommy not to shave my belly in the future so I don't get so sweaty and the uh, atlas stones don't slip so yeah it was good how was it happy enough yeah it was good everything's firing on the right cylinders strength's going up fitness is going up so that's all you can ask for exactly you don't want to peak early so follow the program and boom so that's our week finished we've got a cheap meal tonight cheap meal tonight Saturday and Sunday 
Just going to chill out. Buzzing. I'm ready for Monday. Recovery over the weekend and then back to deadlifts so went there on Monday. Which, this video will go out Monday again. Come to the Stoke Saints Centre gym if you want. You want to try it out by all means. It's free for the first month of reopening in Scotland. So come on down and have a party. No Stoke no party. And stay safe, smile and stay spicy guys. And keep ringing that little bell. Ding a ling a ling a ling a ling. Yeah.